The following eight searches were done with a narcotic bag with one milliliter of narcotic odor inside. Please note that a dirty narcotic bag also has odor of canvas, human odor from handling without gloves, dog saliva, and other environmental odors. This is one of the puppy's first small searches. The idea of this search is to show that the puppy can locate a hidden item, uh, plus also see his drive, so he's getting no assistance from the handler. You can see him working the drive there, and he's getting the scent. He's onto it, and he's got it. He knows it's in the drawer. And have a look how he works this drawer. Clawing and scratching, then underneath it, because the odour is coming through the back of the drawers, under the cabinet, and he's not giving up. What we felt was important here is that the dog doesn't go up and say, hey, there it is, and walk off. This just shows the initial intensity of the pup and the drive to get this toy. He also does something pretty special here as well. Uh, not only clawing and scratching at the drawer, but also, as you'll see in a minute, that as he can't get it, he'll start using his tongue to lick the air inside the drawer. And this is something that you don't see very often uh, with a lot of narcotic dogs. His drive here is good, he hasn't given up, and now he's going to sit there and just look at it. Even though there's two handlers, the cameraman plus the handler, standing within five metres of him, he still doesn't want to leave his toy. Now have a look at his tongue here, how he's trying to gather odour. Something very special. We believe the amount of time that he's spent there now is satisfactory and he should get rewarded with his toy. So the handler will come in and just open up the drawer for him. The pup has seen the handler do this, looked at him and straight back into his in to get the toy. Now he's got his narcotic bag. Now also have a look at the intensity of the drive here. He's playing tug of war, but now that he's got a bite, look at how keen he is to hang on to it. You can lift the puppy off the ground and it took us a lot of trouble just to get the narcotic bag off the puppy. It's more or less not a play drive uh, trying to get the narcotic bag, but more or less an absolute obsession that he has to have this narcotic bag. Now he's been lifted upside down here with the bag stretched out of his mouth and he's doing everything he can just to hang on to it. Part of the development training we did with this puppy was utilising frustration as a major part of the training program. Bend every single one except for the one that's in. Sniff, sniffed every single one.
Where's the bird? 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 Where